Please go to Facebook and look up RYOBI Rebels Facebook group. We are over 10,000 members in there and we're all about RYOBI and not green stuff. So go over to Facebook, check us out, and join us. Uh, you see a bunch of RYOBI posts. And so, yeah. All right, so before we do this unboxing, I want to give a few shout outs. I want to thank my friend Greg so much for sending me another RC car that is Milwaukee themed. I now have a Ryobi RC car that runs on Ryobi batteries, and now I have a Milwaukee RC car that runs on a couple of batteries, actually. Right now, I have DeWalt batteries in there. But yeah, these things are awesome. And subscribe to the channel because in an upcoming video, we are actually gonna do a race with these and it's gonna be an epic race. Please subscribe to the channel to check that out. All right, so this vacuum is a part of the Black Friday uh, gift center area, all right? So I am gonna refill, I'm gonna upload a video of that soon because they added a ton of more stuff throughout all, throughout the brands that uh, Home Depot sells. So we're this is a part of it, this was $60. I saw the price and I saw what this was, so I'm like, I have to get it and so I did. So this thing is metal. It comes with a couple attachments, 18 volt system, comes with three extenders, two attachments, and a hose. So this is tool only, so let's unbox this and see what this is actually like and see if it's worth it. To me, all 60 bucks, already worth it. They only had two of them, so I bought one, so it's gonna be a good one. Here we go. Of course, we have instructions. We have instructions. Look at that. Here's well, the. Here is one attachment, which I like that. That is a much better, uh, much more space than the other one that I have. As you can see, this is from the other six gallon shop pack, and that is much more space. And it'll be interesting to see if these actually fit on the other one, which I doubt it. So that's a lot more space. I like that. Less clogs. Here are two wands. Now remember that it's all it's only it's only a 4.5 gallon shop back, so it's not gonna be big. And I think that's it. Then the rest of it is the tool. Take that out spacers and there we go are the wheels already on it nope we got to put the wheels on and look at that that is a nice little unit i like that that's metal that's where your battery goes too bad it's not hybrid but that's all right though i guess the filter is already inside the on and off switch love my ryobi knife there we go. All right, let's put the uh, let's put the wheels on. I'm pretty sure the wheels is very easy. One inch wheels, I'd say, just just about one inch wheels. Remember, you guys, it's only a 4.5 gallon. It's not like a 10 gallon or 20 gallon and four. There we go. I like that. I like that a lot. All right, so that's garbage. And, uh-oh. One thing that is, oh, 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 see, I, I almost flipped out. I bet you the hose is inside. Yes, it is. I was about to say it doesn't does come with a hose, but the hose is right here. And there is the extra, the other attachments. And there we go. And here is the filter. Let's actually take the filter off really quick. There we go. It is a wet and dry vac. So then what you could do to prevent stuff going in there when it comes to particles. And there you go. And that is the filter for the wet dry vac. 
I like that. I like that a lot. All right, this is what it looks like inside. Like I said, it is metal, which that's huge. I like this thing. This thing is seriously awesome. Like I said, this was 60 bucks. Let's actually take this out. Oh, let's put the filter back in. Let's put this in. Easy lock. There we go. That is now locked. Just like that. Bingo. Let's get a 9 amp hour. I, I want to give a 9 amp hour fits in there. Hello, testing. All right. So, already I have a 9 amp hour right here. Let's see what this is with the 9 amp hour and if it will fit. Oh, yeah, that fits. Awesome. So, it does work with a 9 amp hour battery, which is fantastic. And so, yeah, one thing I did, did notice that this does not say, it does not say brushless on it. Yep, it is. So, I guess, I'm guessing that it is a brush motor. All right, let's see what the hose size is. All right, so this goes to uh, up to 40 CFM, double stainless steel uh, canister design, cordless convenience, special buy while supplies last. So I guess this is, I guess this is a special, a special vacuum. All right, so this is a five foot by one and a quarter inch flexible hose and it twists, which is good. Uh, accident, yep, very good. All right, so it is a, a one and a quarter inch uh, size. One and a quarter inch size. All right, so but like the hose, I will admit just like the other one, the hose sucks. This hose is crap. I, I do suggest you go get a rigid hose that, that'll fit this. Because this is this port, you are not limited to what this is. What you are limited to, you're not even limited to one and a quarter. They have an adapter for, for one and a quarter to make it bigger. So I would get a new a rigid hose and adapter for this. But for this, there, you do need, there is a guide right here. You just put that in like so. Then you twist so it locks into place. Then there you go. Yep, see that this rotates, which is good, because then it won't bind up your, it won't uh, kink up your hose while you're using it. Alrighty, but let's actually test this out. Let's see what this could actually do. Yeah, I, I will admit that the hose sucks. That's way too small. Go out and get an, another hose. That's what I 100% suggest. All right, remember when you work, wear gloves and safety glasses. Actually just cleaned my shop. I did not know I would be using this, so I need to make a little mess. So we are actually gonna use the, the Ryobi hammer drill, brushless hammer drill, and let's see what, let's, so let's make a little mess. Speed two. Alrighty, let's uh, let's see what this could do. All right, guys, I am very sorry, but it's not an impressive pile. You know, it's just a quick quick thing. Let's see what this can do with this attachment. This vacuum is very quiet as well. It's not a loud vacuum at all. That's crazy. Yeah, see like that hose? That hose is garbage. Get a bigger hose. Has pretty good suction though. Very, very lightweight. Very lightweight.
Shoot, that is lightweight. I'll be using this vacuum from now on to clean up my shop. It's usually lightweight. I love it. It's it's seriously quiet and it's very lightweight. You know, it, it, you could you could just hold it, and th that's with a nine amp hour battery in there. Or you just could like have it be as it is, and it'll stroll along to wherever you need it to go. All right, but. Let's do a little, uh, let's do a water test with this really quick. Alrighty, so we have two gallons of water right there. Let's see what this can do. Where I'm going to fill this up one more time. Uh, let's see how fast this takes to suck this up. Alright, so ready? Go. time. All right, let's do, let's fill this up one more time. There's another two gallons. Let's see in how much this could suck up. All right, so let's continue. All right, that's it. And that is as much as it could suck up. So I'd give it, I'd give an estimate about three gallons. Uh, you could suck up about three gallons of water. There, it's, ab it's about right here. And so about three gallons of water it could suck up. That's a guesstimate. That's not, not science, not a, it's, it's a guesstimate about three gallons. Maybe like 2.8, but around approximately three gallons. Alrighty, so let's empty this out. Just like that, yep. Yeah, that is full. Still, not too shabby for a $60 vacuum. And also on the unit, the bobber, you know, for the, the water rises, then that and bobber uh, stops and prevents the vacuum from sucking up any water. That is huge. That is not just a little ball. That's actually a huge bobber that's in there. So the odds of water going in there are a lot less than if it was like a regular little ball. So it's good. This little unit's awesome. This little unit is awesome. Let's put this back on. And to get it ready again for vacuuming there we go put it like that and there you go alrighty so in my opinion this is a nice little 4.5 gallon battery operated shop vac so I will be using the shop vac for now on to clean my garage because it's much easier to use I highly recommend you get a better hose now they do have an adapter to where you could uh, which I'll do a video on that in the future before you guys if you guys buy this before you guys buy another hose because there is a certain design to put the hose on so I'm gonna work my way around that to see what we actually need to do to be able to use a different hose on this Hey, okay, you're able to use a nine and a half hour battery in there it's a wet dry vac and this thing is seriously Seriously awesome. In the future, we will be doing a versus video, video to see which one of these is better and more powerful. Of course, we could just look at specs or we could actually test it out. It's a brand new for the Black Friday sale. And it's a nice little $60 vacuum, $60. That's absolutely insane. And so, yeah, so this, is, this thing is, to me, it's worth the money. It is 100% worth the money and there you go. So this will be my main shop back for the man cave for now on. So if you found this video helpful and ent entertaining, please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. And please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you guys next time.